Hey you guys, God bless all of you. Thanks for watching this edition of My Creed Outdoors. Hey guys, it is January the 18th here in 2000 or 2020. And uh, I want to we're going to talk to you today guys about some stuff that I didn't realize years ago when I was a young feller what was what was happening to me when I was doing some certain certain types of things to myself. And we're going to talk about the benefits guys. Or, or something that will improve your immunity, okay? Gives you better circulation, drains your lymphatic system, promotes emotional, uh, di just, just improves your emotions, lowers stress, lowers the chances of depression, increases your testosterone levels. And I bet there's none of you that's listening to me right now knows exactly what I'm talking about. But then in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Well, you guys, in my videos over the years, you've seen me do all kind of stuff, <clears throat> especially with taking plants. I've showed you, showed you how to use different ones for different health benefits. But today what I'm going to show you is something very unique. You won't believe it. You'll think I'm crazy. But <clears throat> you won't be the only one that thinks I'm crazy. I can tell you that right now. But I've been doing this particular thing for years, and uh, you know I recently dis dis recently discovered by the internet all the health benefits that come from taking an ice bath. So while we're out here in the woods, one of the reasons I picked this particular site right here is we have a good stream back here behind it, and today I'm going to take an ice bath and then tell you just exactly how to go about it. So stand by. Like the wind's getting up. Now we're supposed to get rain and some sleet here after a while. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video the way I'm doing it, you guys. It is actually a, probably about 35 degrees out here right now. So that's what I'm going to have on when I take my bath. Now guys, I don't want you guys to try this, what I'm going to do right here. What I want you to do is I want you to take one cold shower a week at night, right before you go to bed. Take you know, like a five minute cold shower, okay? Do not come out here in the woods and do what I'm going to do right here because you're not used to it. And this water right here is probably, I'm going to say it's in the high 30s or right in the, right at 40 degrees at refrigerator temperature. But what you do is you take a five minute ice cold shower after you do that, you let your body then warm itself back up. Now at home, you'll just go to bed and get under the covers. In a minute, what I'm going to do is I will take this bath right here for about one minute in this water right here, you guys. Then I'll get out and put my clothes back on and go back over to the camp and then we'll talk more about this. Okay, you guys, that's what I want you to do right there, is take you an ice-cold bath. Now, this water is so cold that I don't need to go for one minute in here. So I'm going to go for about, oh, no, no, maybe 30 seconds more. Because, your, you know, your core temperature will, go, will drop very quickly in this type of water. Dingies, doggies. So guys, what happens to your body when you take a cold shower like that, or a cold bath? It purges your lymph system. Your lymph system is what looks for infections and fights off infections in your body. If you don't have one, anything can kill you, just like if you had HIV. That's what purges them. 
what, what's really happening, your heart is rushing blood all over your body in a flood. It just like floods your body with blood all the way to your extremities. I've noticed at night when I do this, I actually sleep better because as my body tries to warm up, it does warm up. The blood flows to all your extremities, especially your feet and legs. And as we get older, for some reason or another, that stuff for some of us just don't work right anymore. So I did that right there, guys. Well, you saw it live, and that was that water is so cold that it did what it what it needed to do in just that length of time. If I had a stayed in there for like two minutes, I would be hypothermic now. That's not what you want to do. In the bathtub, you're not going to get hypothermic. You're just going to let that cold shower run on you for five minutes. Ice cold. No warm in it whatsoever. Okay, guys, I'm back over here at the camp now. I'm not going to build a fire yet. The reason I'm not going to build a fire yet is because I'm not hypothermic. I'm going to let my body gradually just, the blood is, I can feel it rushing through my body. It's rushing from my heart all the way out to my, all my extremities. And that's what's good for your heart. That's what's good for your lymph system. That's Looking good. <laughs>